another test we're going to be doing in today's lab is called the catalase test. And this looks for a bacterial enzyme called catalase, the enzyme that breaks hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, into water, H2O, and oxygen, O2. Most bacteria that have an electron transport chain and use oxygen as a final electron acceptor have the enzyme catalase. During the electron transport chain, toxic hydrogen peroxide, or H2O2, is generated. And so the catalase that the bacteria will have break down the potentially toxic hydrogen peroxide into harmless water and oxygen. Now we're going to be using this test a little bit later in this semester to help determine the genus Streptococcus and the genus Enterococcus. These two bacteria strictly get their energy from fermentation. They don't have an electron transport chain that uses oxygen as an electron acceptor, so they have no need for catalase. Now, most bacteria that carry out aerobic respiration, such as Staphylococcus, for example, have the enzyme catalase because they do generate hydrogen peroxide. So on the left here, we have a plate of Streptococcus lactis, which happens to be normal flora of milk. The genus Streptococcus, again, gets its energy strictly from fermentation, has no need of the enzyme catalase, so it's catalase negative. It's very simple to do a catalase test. We just add a little 3% hydrogen peroxide to the plate. If catalase is produced as a bacterial enzyme, that bacterial enzyme will break down the substrate, hydrogen peroxide, into the end products, water and oxygen. And the oxygen bubbles through the water, creating a foaming effect. So Streptococcus lactis on the left is a catalase negative bacteria. If we add some hydrogen peroxide to the Streptococcus lactis, we see that nothing's happening to the hydrogen peroxide. It remains hydrogen peroxide. It's not broken down, so that bacterium is catalase negative. On the right, we have a plate of Staphylococcus aureus. That is a catalase positive bacterium, and if we add the hydrogen peroxide to the Staphylococcus, we see immediate foaming, and that foaming then indicates this organism is catalase positive. The hydrogen peroxide is being broken down by the enzyme catalase into water and oxygen, and the oxygen bubbles through the water. So that's all that's really involved in the catalase test, adding a drop of hydrogen peroxide and looking for the foaming or the lack of foaming.